Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to find the solution of a problem which says a block of mass m is kept on a horizontal ruler. The frictional coefficient between the ruler and the block is mu. The ruler is fixed at one end and the block is at distance l from the fixed end. The ruler is rotated about the fixed end in the horizontal plane through the fixed end. So we have to find number one. What can the maximum angular speed be for which the block does not slip? And part B, if the angular speed of the ruler is uniformly increased from zero at an angular ang acceleration alpha, at what angular speed will the block slip? So to understand the scenario, this is the ruler. The block is placed on this ruler at a distance L and the ruler is rotating along a fixed end with a velocity of omega, right? So the first instant when the block does not move so in that case, when the ruler is rotating, so mv square by r or mr omega square force will act outward direction and the frictional force will act against the centrifugal force. So once these two forces, one is frictional force and the second one is the centrifugal force will be equal to each other, then the block will not move, right? So for the first scenario, ml omega square will act outward direction the frictional force will act in the left hand side direction and in this case frictional force is nothing but mu into n and n is nothing but m times g right so if this block is not skidding outward then m l omega square should be equal to mu times mg so m will cancel out omega square is equal to mu g by l so the value of omega will become under root mu times g upon l. So this is the solution for A part. Now for B part, the angular speed of this ruler is uniformly increased from 0 to angular acceleration alpha. So that means in this particular case, let's say again this is a ruler. The object is placed here. So if the angular speed is increasing, that means there will be a tangential acceleration, which is nothing but equal to L times alpha, where alpha is the angular acceleration and the radial acceleration AR act in the left hand side direction. So the net acceleration will be under root AR square plus AT square. Now the value of radial acceleration is nothing but L omega square. Now putting the value of AR and AT, A net will become under root L square omega power 4 plus L square alpha square. Now the required friction will be M times A net and that should be equal to the maximum available friction which is mu times M into G. So M will cancel out. So this implies A net value is under root l square omega power 4 plus l square alpha square should be equal to mu times g if we squaring both side this will become l square omega power 4 plus l square alpha square is equal to mu square g square if we solve that for omega so this will become mu square g square minus alpha square l square upon l square power 1 by 4 if we further simplify this one, so this will become mu square g square upon l square minus alpha square power 1 by 4. So this is the solution of this problem.